I actually saw a total change in you the minute Olympia just stepped into your life. It yeah. just, you're, I don't know if this is possible, but your eyes look different to me, mm -hmm. your expressions. How did that tiny moment change who you are as a person? Uh, it, you know, just having a child and being able to have a child and just have a healthy kid is just the best thing that's going to happen to me. We love twinning. Oh, my no. God. She's so cute. I can't. I can't. I can't. Oh. <laughs> she's so that's funny. Beautiful. Oh, my goodness. She's the best. She, And, you know, I just never never thought about, you know, what it would be like to be a mom. Yes. And then, you know, God had the baby and I just kind of jumped into it without not without knowing what to expect or what to do. And it's been the at, by far the best thing I've ever been a part of. I'm, I'm sure you're teaching her things as yeah. she goes through life. I saw you with, uh, with when she had that tennis racket. I mean, I melted. I watched the video like a stalker. I was like, yes. oh, my God, look how cute. But what has she taught you? She's taught me um, that you just grow and you, mm -hmm. you, you still need to learn. It's, it's so good to see a kid just mind expand. And yes. You are the person that's going to hopefully shape your child or a child to what their future can be. And it's, it's, it's a huge responsibility. It's a little scary, isn't it's it? It's the biggest responsibility <laughs> I've ever had, you know? And so I just feel like, okay, I, I'm gonna take, I'm taking this responsibility on and I'm enjoying it. I'm really loving it. When I look at you, I often see like a little girl too, because I feel like we all grow, grew up um, and we got to see you as you yeah. grew through life. Yeah. And I picture you, it's like 1984 in Compton and really, just really hustling to be like the incredible tennis player that you are today. You came from leaning in and wanting and desiring. Mm. And sometimes kids get things, no, no fault of yours or mine, but they just get things. So how do you feel like you want to raise your little girl so that she has the fight in her, the yeah. fire in her that you have? Yeah, you know, I think that's the toughest question every parent has to face. Yeah. Will she ever have the fire, the same fire that I have? I don't know. She does have so much tenacity and she's yeah. very... She's very like bulls headed. Like, yeah. She just is like really strong minded, <laughs> oh, she's, oh, she's strong, strong willed. Yeah. Um, and it's interesting. I don't know. You just never know. But I always try to just talk to her. What do you say to her? No, I just always talk to her about the importance of listening, yeah. the importance of um, being hardworking, yeah. the importance of cleaning up. Cleaning up. Yourself. Did she do that? You know, no, but then I'll tell her to, and then she'll go she'll throw do things it. in. Oh. We do it together. Well, you're a mom, which seems like a total full time job, which yeah. way you've described. Oh, yeah. um, you have a fine jewelry line. I didn't yeah. know you'd gone to fashion school. Excuse me. Like, you have this whole other part of you. Yeah, I always joke that I went to fashion school somewhere in between winning Wimbledon's and the U.S. <laughs> Open. I was in fashion school. And then now, um, as you know about Serena, we have our, our clothing line, but sure. now we're expanding our next part of our arms, and it's jewelry. I have Serena Williams jewelry collection. You can I love see the heart. The I love the heart. Are... What's next? Next is Australia. I have... I uh, know four big tournaments next year, mm -hmm. including other little ones yeah. that I plan on doing really well in. And so it's it's a journey. And that's one thing I would say I learned about Olympia. It's a journey. And, yes. you know, it's I've gotten the four Grand Slam finals. Looking back, the two I shouldn't have been in. Wow. One was like six months after having a baby. That's How amazing. I made it that far, I'll never know. I never could do that again. But like looking back, how the heck was that I was, was just I was breastfeeding two months prior. That was an amazing. So thing. you know, and then just to keep making final after final, a consistency out of six that I've played, I've been in the finals of four, and that's pretty impressive. I watched you speak at the when you were given the Sports Illustrated Sports Person of the mm -hmm. Year, which was a really big deal. Mm -hmm. And um, you talked about self-belief. What advice do you have to young people who are struggling with that? Like, how do you find that? Uh, my advice is that's normal. I've yeah. struggled with self-belief, but it's really just about pushing yourself. Because you're not going to, no one is going to wake up every day yeah. and say, I, I, I'm the greatest, I'm the strongest. I mean, maybe Superman, but yeah. that's, he's not real. So um, it's really important to just tell yourself that, you know, I'm not, I don't feel the strongest today, but that's okay because mm -hmm. I'm going to do something, work harder so I can feel the strongest tomorrow and prepare. Thank yeah. you for coming to see us. Thanks I appreciate for it. for having me. Serena, thanks again. Fun to be included in that. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, if you're excited to see Serena's jewelry collection, you can check it out online at Fred Meyer Jewelers later today before it hits a store near you. Congrats. <laughs>